Hey guys, Gavination here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this. Okay, so the phone falls. The phone falls. Do that. So, first step you want to do is start off warming up by doing this. Simple as that. Just all you do, you jump and go backwards and then try using your back and arch to push forward so you're like boom and then you land it. Step two learn to do a back tuck or a back handspring start off back handspring boom arms out you go backwards and so basically it's just like a back flip but you put your arms down and you walk on over okay step three Get the backflip. If you can't get the backflip, look it up. I'm gonna try teaching you how to. Cause this is what the video is about. You wanna go, okay? Get a decent amount of height. So for whenever you go, and what you wanna do is you want to work on doing this. Work on either doing a tuck. There's two different ways to do a tuck. Tuck like this. So you can tuck and pull back like that, or you can go under. I prefer to under the legs grab. So what that would look like. But when you do it, you want to get enough bounce. You don't gotta get insanely high. You only need to go somewhat high until you get really good where you can just sit still and fully go backwards. How to do this? Step one, practice this. Boom, boom, tuck, boom, tuck, boom. Do about 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five. And alternate between the two different tucks. So this tuck or this tuck. Step two, I'm gonna jump backwards and tuck. One, where you go. Just practice tucking while jumping backwards. Okay. And then finally, add the jump and combine the two. But think about the have to start off doing some backwards roll switches. And if you have to, work on. It's just like, it's a backwards roll upside down. That's all it is. It's just a backwards roll upside down. So, all you do is jump backwards. You jump backwards and tuck. If you want to, you can do it off of a bench. Or once you get really good, Sit there and just you can also do something that's called a lay, which is just keep your back completely straight, leg straight, and kind of like whip over. Okay, so once you do the backflip, I recommend going to a different video to learn how to do the backflip. So once you get done with that, I'm gonna go and already basically have your backflip kind of good and. Next time you go and you do a flip and do a backflip. But you're gonna go and you're gonna lean. So while you're up in the air, you're gonna have enough air and fall on your back. So I just got this trick down today. So if it's a little rusty, it's gonna be rusty.
it is. And you gotta conquer the fear of going backwards. Also, you can try doing front flips first. Also known as Webster, whatever. You can do different ones. Uh, Webster is front flip. It is. So that. There's also something called a gainer to get used to going backwards a lot. This mainly helps if you just fall backwards and then try jumping very high and then just falling and bouncing yourself back up. So once you get those steps down, you're gonna try to combine the two into one jump. So if you get a lot of air, go backwards, tuck, and then land and bounce up. Sometimes people, a lot of time, go backwards and break their neck, as you saw in this clip. So what you don't want to do is that. And that just hurts. It's bad. So to get rid of that, bounce back. And as you see, watch that in slow-mo. Here, I'm doing a replay on it. So, what you do is you basically go backwards, but when you do go backwards, you're arching your back, it's hard to explain. If any of you guys know how to do a kip up, it's this. It's all it is. You combine the two as soon as you hit the ground. So, fast motion looks like this. So when you do that guys, that is a couple easy steps to being able to do that. And you combine all of them together and you wanna make sure you get a lot and a lot of height whenever you're doing this. So start off, you may not have the bounciest trampoline. W, get some WD-40 and spray all the little uh, springs and once you spray all the springs, you're gonna want to start bouncing around as you're spraying them so they get loose. And then they'll let you jump up higher and it loosens up the springs, takes off some of that pressure. Then you guys try combining all those together to get this. And do not recommend doing this with no shirt on. It just got very hot out. It's almost impossible not to get sweaty out here. Because, I mean, I live out in the freaking middle of nowhere. <laughs> so, just a simple way to work on that. You mainly want to have your back tucked down first. Be able to do it really good. And then, once you get your back tucked down, you go back go backwards and then you continue to rotate you had to tuck you have to tuck literally you got to tuck no matter what if you don't tuck then you're just gonna do something that I did in the very beginning of the video excuse the background noise if you hear anything so Get your back tucked down and they'll be good. If you want to start off, mainly people want to start off doing back handsprings, which is the first trick. Or you can start trying to do you sit down and you bounce from sitting down bounce up and then you push off That's how it is so hopefully this helps you guys get that down and like and subscribe see you guys later